Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out Saba Airport, the, the airport with the smallest commercially used runway in the world. Saba Airport lies in the Caribbean on the island of Saba and it's got a 926 feet long runway so that's like really really short. So right now I'm loaded in here with flight gear with the default scenery and as you can see we're actually not on the runway but in a nearby forest with the runway inside and that's not because I flew around and crashed. <laughs> no that's oh what's that? Uh, that's actually because there is a mismatch be between the navigational data runway and the runway in the scenery. As you can right, see right here, flight gear things that were on the runway that it has in its navigational data cache, but actually we're not. Uh, and that can be fixed by installing a custom scenery made by D Echo. So to do that you go to his GitHub page and here you click Caribbean custom scenery and then you can install it either by cloning by using git clone to clone this link here so you would copy that right here or if you don't have git or don't want to use it then you can also download a zip and uncompress that but I'm gonna do it with the git method so right here we are in my custom scenery folder and flight gear FG scenery and where I'm just going to type git clone paste in my link and then it's cloning. That takes us some moments. Alright let's start flight gear. Now we go to the add-ons tab, scroll down to add-on additional scenery folders, click add and select our just downloaded scenery folder here. Click OK. Now we have to restart flight gear to have it pick up that new scenery. I can see it detected that we added some airports and it's loading them now. Takes a few seconds on my 8 core <laughs> laptop uh, but for some people with low-end hardware it might actually take some five minutes as states here may take several minutes so don't be don't wonder if it takes really long for you all right so now it picked it up it's all loaded now and we have five partings now instead of one which is also kind of cool I'm just gonna select here, I don't know, ramp GA2 maybe. Oh, it's actually twice. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go fly. Alright, here we are. Get loaded into the simulator. So let's just quickly start this. Uh, I'm going to use the auto start so that you don't have watch me not being able to start the engine. <laughs> I guess that would be a bit boring for you. So here we go. Uh, this airport is situated on the very edge, as you can hear, see here, on the very edge of a small island, Saba, which is kind of mountainous for its size. So I guess it's of volcanic origin. I'm not that good at ge geography, but I knew that by heart. <laughs> Alright, let's start right here and take a look around. And see if this aircraft can take off from you. And I mean, if this can't, what else could? This is a Captain B, which is a aerobatic aircraft with a really powerful, I think, 110 horsepower engine. So that's quite some power for this size of aircraft. A 
Here we are, that was a nice turn. Let's set some flaps. I do wonder how do, do you actually take off in a tail dragger like this? I mean, you can barely see anything from the default position like that. Oh, that's what I mean. Alright, come on. Oh, so we just barely made it. I mean, this isn't a stall aircraft, but a really small and powerful engine, so it just demonstrates how short this runway is. You really wouldn't want to land there with, I don't know, a TBM or something like that. We only stall aircraft can go here and only very experienced and I think even specially instructed uh, pilots are even allowed here because it's not only the short runway here but there are also often dangerous winds like strong winds and strong cross winds and also they change abruptly often here so there's wind shear and all of that and these winds are really dangerous sometimes but sometimes like right now it's also pretty calm here well i'm a little give you a little view of this island oh i thought why don't we fly a little fly once around it circle it like I really like this sound. The developers of this aircraft knew what they were doing, <laughs> obviously. Too warm. <laughs> so if it's too warm, flag you just let me uh, make snow here. So I don't think we're gonna see any aurora borealis here. <laughs> All right, airport is coming back into view. There's a really powerful aircraft as you can see. We've ju we're just airborne for a minute lion. We're already at, I don't know, 4,000 feet? No, it's actually... Um, yeah! See, that was a good guess. We're at 4,000 feet. <laughs> so this is really powerful aircraft, which is why I really like it. It's one of my favorites. Also you can do aerobatics, smoke, and smoke doesn't work. Oh, what have I done? What's wrong with the engine? What? Wait. Uh, I have enough fuel. Uh, the engine is down to 10 RPM. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. No idea. We just got an engine failure right here. I mean, it's a problem. We're so high. <laughs> anyway, is it? so. Uh, let's just get down there. Is this dive? It was oh! Ah! Uh, <laughs> actually, it was not the engine failure, but I, I accidentally activated the speed mode of the autopilot <laughs> and as I didn't set any speed, it was set to zero. So obviously it put it throttle to zero as well. So, 
Alright, that's fixed now. So we will make it to the airport after all. Put up more flaps. We're gonna do full flaps right here. Oh, we're much too high. Just dive. Alright. That's better. A little off center. Okay, go around, go around. Uh, I guess most of the landings take at least one go around here. <laughs> I bet that. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this again. Quite high down, I think. This time we'll make it. Floating, we're floating. And we please stop, please stop! Do stop! Oh, go around, go around! Come on! Oh! Oh no, oh, that. Okay, we're dead. Uh, okay, so maybe I'm just bad at landing planes. Okay. Uh, let's just. Try the Twin Otter right here. This airport, which is kind of the most used here because it's a real powerful storm, short takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, DC 6. Oops, sorry. You're kidding me. Ah, here it is. Let's install it. All right, here we go. Oh, that is a nice splash screen here. So that's really actually everything that flight is capable of in one photo. Here we have rainbows. We have nicely animated snow that is actually falling, of course. We have rain right here, we have clouds. All right, here we are in the twin order. Uh, inappropriate for a seaplane here, super. What? We have like wheel, we're not a seaplane. Wow, this is dumb. Okay, let's order start. Brakes. Pull up, pull up. Here we go. Just about made it. completely messing up here. Oh no, we stalled! Oh, great. Let's put this into replay. Okay, I can already see that this is gonna be a very bad landing. Oh, we crashed! We crashed. I mean, this video is getting ridiculous at this point. Hey! <laughs> no! 
Look at this! <laughs> that was like the shortest landing ever! <laughs> and we're, we're perfectly aligned! So there's, there's absolutely no reason to complain! <laughs> I mean, that was like the shortest landing possible in this aircraft! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time, probably. I've got some views here. And bird's eye view, whatever that is. Oh, looks kinda cool. Right here. Okay. Yeah, that's accepted. That's a nice view actually, again, like a top-down view. Oh, what's wrong with the water right here? It's like tile. Can you do any better? Uh, yeah. Okay. My crash. I mean, this is hopeless. I give up. Oh no, please don't crash. Do this. I think we need to come in lower, slower. Okay, I mean, let's count that as a successful landing because I don't think I'm going to get any better. Oh wait, are you going? Okay, <laughs> so we start successfully and uh, we end up in the water anyways. Get it down, get down, get down, get down. That was a hard landing, but what? Oh no! 
No Frost Reverses in the JSB's inversion. Okay, but we made it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. We made it. So that was great. Let's try something bigger. Let's try this one. That looks relatively small. And store. Okay, here we are. Loaded. Uh, Pretty basic model, I guess. No seats right here, but on the panel we pretty much have everything, I guess. Some things missing here, but that's okay. Uh, let's auto start. Wait. Okay, so. Okay. Hey, look at that beautiful fan animation. I love that. Reverses. Let's go back a little. We really need the full length here. Full length of the runway. Alright, full power and release brakes. Here we go. Wow, this accelerates quite quickly. Don't think it will be enough. Come on, I think we can do this. Oh, okay, okay, our wing was too big. Okay, let's replay that. Let's try it from the from the other end, okay? Alright, brakes and here we go. I think we can make this. I mean that's ridiculous taking off a several seven on a thousand feet long runway or not, right? Let's try this. Uh come on. Yeah oh no. No, that is genuinely impossible. Okay, so we sunk. Engine's still running. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's weird. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try. So this aircraft was made by Emmanuel Baranger, which uh, who is a an aircraft creator, and he and um, probably the one that created most aircraft and flight gear. It's, I think it's hundreds of aircraft and in like, you know, it's only a few days to make them and they're, they're not uh, highly sophisticated, like every system is simulated. And that's not always the case, but in any case you have most of the instruments, most things are working and most aircraft of his, uh, but not always like. Let's auto start. Oh, you better hurry with that auto start because else we will be in a sea. Come on! I need to cheat right here. Okay, and cut the engines. Got the engines. Go, go get down there. Okay. Uh, this is impossible. <laughs> okay. No way to land a Boeing there. I can uh, can go one bigger and try the end. There we go. I think it's already auto starting. Oh wow, that is huge! Wow, just look at this size! Uh, I think that's almost as long as the runway. 
So I don't know about landing. <laughs> Let's try it anyways. Oh, we're too high. Too high. Here we go. Um, yeah, I, so, I mean, that is ridiculous. We just landed and a ton of 124 on, like, half of this runway. <laughs> what is this? Let's see that in replay. All right. All right. Wow. I mean, we needed more runway in DHC-6. See that again. Why are we really slow? I don't think uh, that we and Tonov can fly the run and not stay airborne. Something I doubt. But here we, <laughs> we landed. Can I also take off? Let's try it. All right, here we go. Parking brake, full power, full flaps. I think we have already full flaps. Yeah. Right, here we go. It's Travis. Oh, we're surely going to clip the cliff there with our wing, so it's not going to work out. All right, we made it. <laughs> we're airborne at 90 knots in <laughs> this huge aircraft. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> Let's retract the flaps. Now let's try the biggest aircraft ever built. The AN two two. Right? Yeah, here you go. It's a real basic model here, not very well, but I hope it at least that at least an FDM is somewhat, somewhat realistic. Alright, so in this model we have no controls at all, no instruments, just black, black inside. Look at this size, it's incredible. Alright, engines are already started. Um, okay, we used the whole runway this time, but uh, we actually stopped and that without reverses. Let's look at this landing again. Quite a track here. Oh, okay, we crashed actually. Okay, we <laughs> Okay, this is crazy. This is so crazy.
It's just, can, can we take off? Okay, here we go, we're taking off. That's not going to work out. Can already tell that. Track a gear. No. No. Okay, we're crashed. So, we can barely land. The <laughs> biggest aircraft of the world here, even though the runway is just twice the length. So, uh, yeah, I think the SDM of these aircraft is a bit broken. Alright, that's it for today. See you next time, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye, see you.